everyone welcome back to champions of the fog we're loading in for valhalla versus loyalty it's gonna be vabo playing the singularity and oddly enough loyalty is gonna be responding with artists so i'm really curious who is the king of suffo pit or i guess you know the queen potentially but but that's it i'm here as a little regard immediately get into chase t what's going on I'm doing great, and I am super excited to watch this gameplay. Singularity, again, is a killer that I haven't gotten to see so much in comp, so I'm really excited to see them. Artist, of course, someone we see here frequently. But Singularity already engaged in chase. Ooh. Oh! Unfortunate swing and a whiff. Getting hit at the window, though, eventually. And I imagine they'll be leaving this as the Sloppy Butcher is going to be taking full effect. Looking around, seeing plenty of scratch marks literally everywhere. Oh my goodness, there's Scratch Mark Central over here. Yeah, it does seem to be that there are a lot of people over here kind of clumped up. Whether or not that's a good or a bad thing, we'll have to see, but... I don't know, it seems like right now our killer's having kind of easy pickings. Just a bit. I would generally say that you don't want Saras grouped up unless you're absolutely having to reset. Survivors are, I would argue, are technically at their weakest when they're together. They are strongest when... Again, that's why the 3v1 is so strong, is because... There's one less. It's like they're all together at the same time. Rue, but you've always said that you and I are strongest when we cast together. Well, we're not survivors. We are uh, entity observers. <laughs> you know, it's all, it's all good. Ooh, there's actually a survivor. Oh, that's a huge read from the killer here. And that is going to be a hit at the win. Yeah, I was say at the shack pallet. Surprisingly, uh... They do, they are patient, they didn't throw it. Good for them. However, now you've got, oh, they actually came in for the unhook. Oh. Okay, the immediate teleport as well, but there's the EMP. Adam will take a tag for their efforts. And it looks like we'll be yeah. seeing the tunnel out very shortly. Adam did a great job coming in for that hit tank, but I don't know. I think that uh, this Quentin is, is kind of caught out in the middle of nowhere right now trying to get back to main building it looks like they'll be able to and there is another survivor back here so potentially a second hit tank coming in that we're gonna see very possible lara's the only one that isn't oh my goodness and she even gets slipstreamed here getting a teleport and yeah they will be trying to take a hit tank here for their survivor worth noting no gens have been completed yet so uh not the greatest start for survivors there's no ruin either it's just survivors have been just chased off of the gens entirely yeah, well, it seems to me that's one of the things that Singularity is really good at is is this kind of spreading out pressure, monitoring, forcing survivors off gens fairly quickly. Mm -hmm. Although we did just see our first one pop in the distance over there, which is definitely good for our survivors. They need to get going on these generators. Absolutely do. And down coming in on Lara, they were able to successfully keep Quentin alive, but at the, again, at the cost of effectively, they're just throwing survivors at the body blocks, which means less gen pressure is going to be happening at the moment. And looks like this killer is actually scouting around for a hook. And it is going to well, be a pain resonance. Mean, I was about to say, they can only mean one thing. Yeah, generally, um, it, it depends. Like, some, like, it depends on the situation. Sometimes they want to go for the pain res. Sometimes they want to try and get a more central hook. It's a... Unfortunately, for the... For the uh, the spectator perspective, we just never know what hook they're going for. That's true. I suppose it can mean two things. Fair. I I, I wish we knew what was uh, what, what was a scourge and what wasn't. That would be really really handy. You know, maybe if they uh, ever do some uh, custom games upgrades, you might see that. But ooh, they actually do get a tag on the Adam with slipstream. We we'll following up shortly. Good micromanagement on these uh, these biopods, by the way. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely set up in great position. They're able to keep an eye on all of the survivors pretty much at this point. Trying to keep them off of this three... three is, it, is there a three gen on this half of the map down here? Usually there is. I think it's still available to them. Ooh, getting a tag. And yeah, this is something of a three gen. Not a powerful three gen by any means. Oh, they actually missed the teleport. And that is going to be rough as she's able to EMP. But that's the thing too is the killer definitely does have the potential to just kind of uh they can kind of harass three gens on both sides if they have their biopod set up and survivors have an emp properly Ooh, there's a survivor back here where you see adam getting pushed away it is emp'd in this corner so they will have to reset these biopods oh my goodness that's such a good tag wow really good read by our killer in the meantime it is worth noting that uh our quentin did get reset mm-hmm 
So Quentin's out of the woods a little bit here, but Adam is gonna definitely gonna be going down, heading over to our favorite corner in the game comp corner. Just trying to buy a little bit of extra time for their team. Yep. Survivors hopefully should have another gen ready to go soon. This it's definitely taking them quite a while. It really is, and I'm so yeah, I'm just as surprised as you, especially with that not being a pain resonance. I would imagine they should have a gen at least fifty percent of the way here. Trying to see if anybody's stealthing out on the other side of this generator, but it looks like it is actually just left behind. And honestly, the killer's in a pretty good spot. They got a hook on the side of the map. They can harass these generators still. They can harass the other side. I think survivors at this point are maybe trying to get a reset on the entire team. No, they are doing a generator. About to say, if, if it's going this poorly, you probably need to get try and get the fourth generator done. Even if there is a three gen, you have to tackle later on. Just get your points and generators. Yeah, absolutely. This is... It seems like our survivors are definitely struggling here, but again, Vabo doing a great job of this kind of camera management and just keeping an eye on everything and getting ready to pester whoever they see. So I can see why they're having a hard time doing it, but they do find Sable here at Shaq, and they do get the teleport on them as well. Shaq Pallet is still up, but I imagine that's going to... Oh! That's, that's the worst case scenario because as the survivor, they can charge right through it and, you know, take the pallet, or they could just... Yeah, there, I don't think there's any winning that. They do finally finish the second generator, as this is going to be a fresh hook on every single survivor. Yeah, there's just... The, the timing on that loop was so bad. There's just no winning the survivor there. You're either going to get, you know... You have to take your chance and hope that maybe you slow them down enough that they dodge the hit. Yeah, that was that was really tough. But a great job by Vabo. Going to be back on this Quentin now. The survivors, though, I will say the one thing they are doing really, really well is they're doing a great job of spreading out the pressure amongst themselves, and they did mm -hmm. a great job of keeping that Quentin from being tunneled out of the game early game. True. And that that is that is definitely working in their favor here, because even though they haven't gotten as many Juns done, perhaps, as we would have expected at this point, they've also only got one survivor that's going to be on Death Hook, and they've still got mm -hmm. four people in the game. That's huge. That is true. 4v1 is much better in this uh, scenario, for sure. And I imagine... I don't know if they can really afford to be taking too many more hits. And, oh, man. Yeah, oh. this killer is going to be cleaning up on the side of the map with that hook in the middle. Yeah, absolutely. They have put themselves so centrally located. They are absolutely ready to head back over to this hook. They can also monitor all their generators over here. There is... I think there was still another survivor, though, on this half, potentially. Aside from the Atom, so maybe they'll be getting back to work on that gen that we saw get kicked over there. Oh, that position on the biopod is so sick. I've never seen that utilized before. Oh. Oh, Sable not able to take the hit tank, and that is going to be Quentin set back to the campfire. And not to mention this gen right here, pretty heavily progressed. We see the survivor working on the gen in the back with eruption on them. And it doesn't look like the killers can be able to teleport back. They're going to go straight back. They don't want to lose that gen setup just yet. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's definitely the right call. This one in the corner was so far along. Mm-hmm. Survivor's already gotten off of it, though. Again, so far along. Oh, incredibly unfortunate for our survivors, but our killer just doing such a good job here. Trying to get that teleport. Not quite able to really close again they're just like barely dodging the last side but again great positioning from the killer and we'll get that aim and this should be a hit more run back into the center they do finish a third generator though so survivors are slowly fighting back but now that it's the 3v1 as soon as a hook comes in i do not know what you can do yeah they need this chase to last as long as possible and they can't hit tank in the yeah, same they way sent because... over here oh my gosh absolutely awesome yeah that was really, an incredible job really smart move by our survivors great great job yeah that was a great re again the killer read the situation perfectly they're like wait hold on i'm missing somebody and didn't uh count adam rotating back here and with that this gen's being split they might actually be able to finish the fifth one as far as getting stages out i'm not sure but you definitely can get a uh a five gen completion here, which is really good considering you have to mirror the artist. An artist is a monster on this map. Yeah, absolutely. I think I think getting stages out could be tough. Uh, 
I think we'll either see two stages out, two two survivors out, or no survivors out. And I say I, that because hmm? it it I say that because I found so far watching comp that it's super rare to get one survivor out. It's usually either going to be two people out or no one, because the killer's not going to let the last person leave, or they're going to try as hard as they can to deny them hatch. Usually, it's a split of the exit gate is what ends up getting one out. Yeah, but I feel like I haven't seen that happen too much. Mm. I don't oh, know. Oh, wow. They actually do find lore after all. That gen down here does have a ton of progress, but it looks like they did manage to apply eruption to that. So that is going to set our survivors back a little bit. Adam oh did goodness. get reset, though. Oh. Yeah, Adam's gotten second win both times off hook, which has been really good considering the Sloppy Butcher's in the play. It's giving them really quick heals. Wow, Laura's actually made this chase last so long that he can't afford to uh, commit to this too much more. Yeah, they're going to head right back over to check. However, is there a pallet back here? There is a filler pallet that might be just enough. Oh, that was such a good mind game, though. Oh. However, really? no pain residents left, though. That was so well played on both parts, though. Lara mm -hmm. did such a great job of extending that chase, but Vabo just reading them right at the end there. Really nicely done. The question is, has there been enough time for them to finish the gen down there? And there was. There absolutely was. And I don't know. Well, the, the exit gates are split. They might actually be looking at a survivor. I don't know how they get both of them out. But it is possible. Yeah, I mean, with the high mobility on this killer, I I think it's going to be a little bit difficult, but I... They actually sneak stable I, back. I do think we're going to see some outs here. I, like, I think you just try and body block Lara as much as possible. Yeah, keep them from going too far. And then you kill them, you leave them slug, you go after Sable. Be forcing the pick. The question is... Does Sable rotate fast enough to get back to the exit gate or not? Yeah, leave them slug. Go for your kill. Really? Oh. Interesting. They're going to opt for... That is interesting. Huh. That is very interesting. I, th I think... I feel like they could have gotten that Sable potentially, but I guess they didn't want to risk it. I guess you, oh, you know what it is? You run the risk, and I, I will say, I think, all right, everyone, welcome back to Champions of the Fog. We are loading back in for trial number two. It is, again, Loyalty versus Valhalla. This time, Loyalty is going to be cracking out the artist, and Killer? I'm, could definitely take note. Also, dear goodness, T, look at that Corrupt Intervention. Oh, that is, is. That is so juicy. Our killer is definitely going to be excited about that and definitely going to be trying to keep our, uh, our, uh, oh. sorry, my, uh, hang on, your stream crashed for me. How dare you? So I couldn't see anything. That was weird. Well, taking chase at the main building, Jake is going, I'm sorry, Renato, Renato is going to be getting first chase, wrap around the side, already dropping a good pallet. Artist is going to stay on their tail, and so they will start to head back towards the center of the map. Are they going to use the filler? No, they're going to leave the filler time. They, oh, they have a long wall. Oh, great read, though, from the artist. is going to get a tag with the crows. Ruin is going to go down, though, and that is going to be an unfortunate loss for Ruin. Oh, actually, Dire Crows not causing a down, but that means the killer can probably follow up with a shotgun. Yep, and they will go down into the corner. Really nice first down from our killer. That is definitely going to set them up for success here. I'm so excited to be watching uh, Artist on Suffo Pit because Artist is so much fun to watch in general, but Artist dominates on Suffo Pit. They it really do. Is, it is just such a pleasure to watch. And Survivor is already getting that first gen done. First hook coming in here. Got eyes on this Dwight, though, and definitely going to be pursuing him over here at Shaq. Yep, and that was a pain res right off the bat, too. Ooh, Dwight going to get zoned a little bit as the crows are going to keep him at bay. Eventually, attack, and they will dispel the crows. Immediately, unhook coming in for Hanadu. And looks like Artis actually will be going back to try and stop this. 
The question is, did they rotate another survivor back here into main building to try and keep the gen from firing? Or that try to get the gen firing, I should say. Yeah, they did. They shot. rotated Ace back here. Not a ton of progress, but a notable amount. Yeah, definitely. You can hear it going a little bit, but sounds like maybe two pistons, maybe almost two. Ace getting ready to try and come in for a body block here. It is a good idea. Oh, they're actually going to go back into main building. Really good body blocks and team play coming in. That means that Nia and Dwight can be free to work on gens. And it looks like Bounce Land is going to get them away. Get a good bit of distance to be able to rotate back all the way through main building. Setting up a Dire Crow to try and get the... Yeah, they will actually get it. Yeah, Naughty doing a great job running here. And Ace was doing so wonderfully tanking for them. Coming back Ooh. in and taking it again. Really nice. And again, they do have this long wall set up. They're going to go straight forward. And oh, they actually only apply the Dire Crows. They don't actually get a hit. Yeah, this bounce, this tunnel out is really being double. But oh. Yeah, but they just go straight for this hook. Put them in the back of your map in this three gen. And you are sitting pretty. Yeah, absolutely. Going to be setting up a great camp out here. I don't know. This is going to be really tough for our survivors. That was a great chase, though, by uh, Natu. So, bought a lot of time, but ultimately, survivors are going to have to get down here and break this three gen at mm -hmm. some point, or they are going to be in a ton of trouble, and I'm not sure I can see a way that they're going to be able to do that. I would agree. Second gen going down. At this point, uh, and it's really unfortunate, they can't afford just to get the other gens on the other side done. They need to not let this be a 4v1 so early on. They need to get this Nadu off the hook, deny the tunnel out, get them onto the other side of the map, and force the artist to either lose a gen or commit and get a 3v1. And unfortunately, I don't see them really come back in. Nia did come back here for a little bit, but again, the artist can kind of lock down this choke. Well, there is a survivor on that generator, so they are going to continue to mess with it. This is going to be a tense 30 seconds. Yeah, I don't know that Nadu can get off this hook, really. It's, there's, I mean, there's definitely stuff to work with back here, but it is just going to be incredibly difficult because they're so far back in the map. Mm -hmm. Ace coming in, or Dwight coming in, taking that hit. Oh. Oh, I would have swung into that window to prevent, to body block it, and they didn't. Now Nia's going to be able to get in front of them and take a body block, and that is, uh, that might just be what they need to get into. They're going to stay at main building. I think they want to try and get more distance with balance and reverse the loop potentially. Or maybe they're just happy with this. Oh, but the Dire Crows are going to spread with the the hands. There's the M1, and now Hanadu is able to get to the other side of the map. Looks like, yeah, we're instead we're going to be focusing on this Nia a little bit, which I think was probably the thing to do. Take what you can get, since mm -hmm. that Nadu got so much distance from that Nia uh, body blocking our killer there. Yep. They do yeah. get that gen done finished over there, and kind of a central hook here, but... Definitely going to be an easier rescue than the Nadu. For sure. And yeah, three gens down. They did hit a pain res, so maybe going to slow down the jet at main if that was the one that it hit. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Hello there. <laughs> <laughs> Claudette jump scare? Just or a Ace little jump bit. Scare? It was Dwight, I think. I think it was Dwight. Oh, it was Dwight. Yeah, Ace is going in for the unhook, which means Hanadu is unaccounted for. I think they need to get back into Shack and reset at the very least, reset Hanatu, and that way they are the go-to. Wait. Ace running through to main. This is a bold strat. I'm curious what the thought process is here. Huh. Maybe just keep yeah, distance? Because going down over here is going to be way worse for them in the long run. It is. There's the I... reset on Hanatu, though. Oh, they're, they're chasing in the corner. Arda says no. They said, I want a second stage. That is interesting. This is getting weird, and I like it. Yeah, I guess technically the artist doesn't have to 4K one here. I mean, I guess if you just uh, 2K 10, that would also work. Again, they don't have Noah. We, we've seen all the killers first. We've seen Pain Res. We saw Corrupt. We saw Agi. We saw Ruin. The, the killer doesn't have any Noah to clench this up, so maybe they're just going for all the hook stages they can and just getting their uh, majority points. Yeah, they definitely might be. I mean, especially with Ruin going down so early, that might have changed their their strategy a little bit. Uh, and so they're opting to go for just more stages, I suppose. 
They are going to get that rescue on the Nia, though. And now Ace is going to be back here again on this hook right mm -hmm. in the middle of these three gens. So again, it's going to be another tough rescue. Yep, sending out crows to try and get some information, but no killer instinct. I imagine they're going to take Nia all the way to the other side, maybe get a reset on her. Hanatu, I do not see coming back to the side of the map. Uh, now that Nia's second stage, she also might not be coming in unless absolutely necessary. Yeah, no, they absolutely are probably going to be stealthing as much as they can, which only leaves Dwight to come in for that rescue. So th I, they've put themselves in a much more dangerous position, and I, I'm not sure what the payoff for them is going to be, aside from getting all three of these survivors reset. I, I think what you do here is you send Dwight and... Or not Dwight. Uh, Nia and Hanadu and just keep them on that... The, the furthest closest gen to the choke point. You give that to them. And then they both run back. And they take hits for each other. And they just take you to the corner of the map. So that if you commit to both of them, that means Nia and Ace are going to come in for the, uh, for the finish off. And that's about all you can really afford to do with them. Because, yeah, if they go down back here, it is lights out. And Ace is actually getting closer to Lights Out as we speak, as it is about to be second stage in about 20 seconds. Yeah, our killer just panning constantly back and forth, trying to make sure that they don't get a save out from under them. Looks like there was somebody back here at this gen. I was about to say, Nia's just hanging out here, like, just, cr just walking all chill, like, nah, you don't scare me. She scares me. I'll tell you what. Right? Oh, and they actually do come in to get Ace off the hook, but I think it's a bit too late as second stage has already been. Yeah, and Dwight even for the people in Ace to keep them from say, getting yeah. tunneled. We did just see a for the people there. Oh, but, but now Dwight's Dwight gonna go is going to be here. in trouble. This is turning into one of those loops of just rescue, reset, rescue, reset. Mm -hmm. Especially with the hooks down here in this, this three gen. This is... This is going to be really, really hard. I imagine right now Nia and maybe one other survivor is on. So Hanadu is over on the gen that just popped. No, Nia's resetting. I was about to say, that would be what you could do is you could be over here on this generator trying to get as much progress on it before the pain rest hits and then start just working it slowly up. Again, the anti-gen uh, mechanic is your friend here. But look at how tight this three gen is. The artist can literally just look at any direction. Yeah, Absolutely. And anywhere she can't see, she can send her crows. So mm -hmm. this is such a juicy setup for them. It really is. And again, we're going to see the camp out from Dwight to second stages again. They went down back here. There's literally nowhere else for the artist to go. This is... Why would you leave this? Oh, yeah, I... somebody's on that gen, actually. Oh! Now, Aze is kind of uh, in a pickle. They are going to take edge map and get out of here. Dodging the crow entirely. The survivors are making their rounds to get back in here. Yeah, they are definitely rotating in, trying to get this rescue. But I think you're right. I think that they need to play on that far gen. They're being aggressive. Yeah, Hanatu's on that main building gen on the side. I think Aze is just keeping the artist uh, honest you could say. Well, Nia and Hanadu actually work on it. Yeah, second stage will be secured. Oh my gosh. Finally getting that hit. Yep. Those are some spicy misses too. Those must have been like just short. Indeed. And so here, here's the killer. So the killer only needs to kill one or two of these like essentially if they kill two survivors now they're in it but the survivors have done such a good job wasting the killer's time as much as possible getting these two opposite generators with progress going and Aze is yeah but I say you rotate in Dwight or I'm sorry Hanadu and say like hey if you leave to you know harass these generators I'm gonna get that unhook survivors very, very actually doing smart. a lot more than I thought they could at the moment honestly yeah, I agree. I I really thought it was kind of doomed, but they are doing a very good job of giving Nia time to work on that gen over mm -hmm. there. There's Yano coming in. And Dwight has second wind. There's the final gen being done. Missing the crows. Oh my gosh. Wait, which one? Did they get the one done on the other side? Did yeah. we just not realize? Wow. Yeah, they were working Excellent on that one a little job. bit. Nadu rotated over after Ace took a hit. Wow, really, oh, really miss. smart gameplay by our survivors. This is now turned into a much more difficult game for our killer. This is actually gonna be a really close score because I, I think the killer still needs to get a kill here. 
And I think if they get one kill, I think the points are a tie? I think. If I'm doing it in my head right. Because the previous killer missed two points on the second stage. But, yeah, if they get only one killer, I think it's a tie in the first set. Dwight doing a really great job of being patient here at this loop. There's He's the going to take a tag, though. No With that way. Life, I, are they going to be able to make it over there? If someone comes in and can tank a hit for him. They're going to need a lot of hit tanks. The birds need to come in fast. No, Dwight goes down. Oh. And there's no for the people. Wait, hold on. Ace got healed. No, wait. Dwight's the for the people player. Dwight is the for the people player. That is true. Yep, yeah, forcing Auto out. That means Nia's getting... Yeah, Nia and Ace are both back in the map. I love when survivors get squirrely and go for four minute outs. It's so fun to watch. I don't know if they're going to be able to make it happen, but it sure is fun to watch them try. For sure. I think with Agi, they're going to be able to make it again. Survivors could try and do hit tanks here, but I... We'll just see how the points end up adding up. Yeah, opting to leave instead. I think that that is the right call here, but that was such a wild end game to watch. Survivors just able to slowly chip away at that gen progress and really force the killer, as you said, to stay honest and be mm -hmm. on that hook at all times. That was great to watch. It really was. And it looks like, yeah, loyalty is going to win by a single point. So they got the kill and that's the win. All right, welcome back to Champions of the Fog. We're loading in for set number two. Loyalty took the first set, and now coming out strong with a nurse. Is, is there stuck? Or are they just are they chilling? I did they think someone was gonna sneak into? You know, that's such an interesting thought. Huh? Can you explain the logic for that for us, mere mortals? So it is not uncommon, especially with um, a nurse in play, you want to make sure the deliverance player is not found. And oftentimes it is really common for the deliverance survivor to just kind of slink into basement, like slip into a locker until the first chase starts and then decide where to go from there because you really, really want to protect that survivor. And so they're just like, you know what? Hold on, wait a couple seconds, wait a couple seconds, wait a couple seconds, blink and see if they're in basement. That's very smart. Wow, that that was very clever. I know I was also very confused. I was like, huh, we're just kind of hanging out, hanging out. But no, no, no. The killer was playing 4D chess with us. Yeah, and I mean, to be fair, it would be, yeah, if a survivor walks into the basement and the nurse is down there, <laughs> nurse is like, yeah, you're done goofed, buddy. You're gone first. And then, you know, you rob them of uh, at least deliverance, potentially even a breakable if they stick it on. One thing worth noting is we saw a, a little progress on the generator in the corner survivors weren't found over there and they are stealthing out this corrupt which i have not seen in forever we're we're two we're three-fourths of the way through corrupt and they have not found a server to chase yeah that was such a like meta play for so long was to stealth mm -hmm. out corrupt but it's really not something we've been seeing in season 11 so i don't know good on the survivors i suppose i do want to point out also though that that ruined totem is an eight very very visible place oh yeah over in that tile over there so i do not expect that to stay up long which will be unfortunate for our nurse but you know unfortunately rng do be what she do that is true and one th so one thing also worth noting is that so it, it, it depends on the team sometimes they go for it sometimes they don't sometimes they don't actually cleanse ruin um, even if they see it, and it's because if they don't know what the last perk is, they're like, okay, it could very well be Eruption because Eruption's a super meta pick, and they don't want to actually give the nurse that power to be able to commit to a chase across the map and be able to get that regression. And they'd rather deal with Ruin and stick it out. Interesting. Also worth noting, what the heck is this chase that I'm watching? They have been struggling to catch up to the survivor. Yeah, I don't know. It's been very, very weird so far, but again, this whole match so far has been a very out of the norm for what we've mm -hmm. been seeing lately, especially with nurse gameplay. So maybe they know things we don't know. Maybe. It was about to say, it was two and a half minutes before we saw the first down come in just now. And it's on the survivor that's their obsession, which means they're not going to get any value from this dying line. I think survivors handed up Dwight like, you know what? We're really sorry, buddy, but we don't want to deal with dying light. So uh, have fun with that. Oh, they actually do opt to cleanse through it. And first gen goes down as the first hook him is in. So... They actually do cleanse it. They do, they're do. they okay with eruption, potentially. 
Yeah, but now this game is really going to get going because Corrupt Intervention is done. Ruin is gone. One Survivor's on a hook. One Gen is done. Now is when things are going to start getting interesting. I'm excited to see what this nurse is up to. I think it seems like they're going to be staying down here, kind of proxying this Dwight a little bit. They do have a bit of a three. Yeah, they definitely have a three gen down here, so they can afford to protect down here a little mm. bit. We did see, I think Nia setting up for, yeah, setting up for this rescue over here. Is going to take a tag, though. Probably going to trade. No, they're going to immediately take the hit. And that's going to be a follow-up hit, just so they can deny the deliverance play. Comes the blink. Do they stay for the... No, they missed the blink. That means that, yeah, if Nia has deliverance, she's actually going to have it activated. Wow, nicely done by our survivors. Very good oh. thought, but oh my gosh, that was so close. Really was. They even looked over the sides like, do I try and stop that gen? No, I got to get the star out of the game. And they're going to commit to it. Oh my goodness. This survivor is doing kind of insane things. I yeah, would not getting... have expected this. There they go. Yeah, they were doing a great job of kind of reading the nurse, you know, playing those mind games. And there's oh. a decisive. Oh no. That's Heading smart. Towards... Just go corner. Yeah, absolutely. Make it even rougher for the killer to get any pressure off of this. And that could, we could be seeing a third, maybe even fourth gen fire, depending on how much the spread out was. We only saw Nia come in. There's the third gen. Man, Dwight did such a good job of extending mm -hmm. that chase and pulling her down to this half of the map. They have broken that three gen that was down there. Just doing a really great job of setting their team up for success here. I think the three gen is still somewhat active. Not nearly as good as it once was, though. Yeah, the middle yeah. gen still kind of acts like a pseudo three gen at all times. That's why it usually gets broken first. But yeah, look at this generated progress. Oh. Yeah, this is so close. Survivors are just... Impressed. They, they are, like, doing so well. They mm -hmm. are playing this incredibly smart. They really are. And again, just hats off to them. They have effectively countered most if not all the build of the killer they didn't get any real value out of corrupt intervention dying light has been completely negated by the fact that the obsession has been the one they've been chasing this whole time and ruin was cleansed didn't really get much off of that they kicked a gen but eruption hasn't come to fruition the survivors have effectively just negated this killer yeah this is wild this is not how my nurse games go i'll tell you what <laughs> absolutely but and that is going to be death hook for Dwight, but I imagine the gen in the corner is going to be popping up with Yeah, there it is. Four gens for the uh, for the kill here, and this generator, despite yes, middle gen definitely helps you know get a three gen going. This is not a three gen. No, this is this is very very doable for our survivors. I think we are going to be looking at outs here potentially. Um, yeah, this is this is really tough for our nurse. Which is interesting because I feel like it's very rare to see a nurse struggling in comp. Uh, typically, it depends on the map. That's true, but I do feel like, in general, a lot of times nurse games are so fast, it's like you blink and they're over. How dare you make a dirty pun like that in my presence? I love a dirty pun. Oh my goodness. But you're, you're, so your intuition is correct. On a map like Wreckers, being so small, being so concise, I definitely think you should be getting 4K1 here at the very least. You, I would even argue 4K2 is hyper viable. But the fact that the survivors have had this much gen pressure for four generators and that's the time that's now the 3v1. No, yeah, this this could be looking at outs. It might be 4K5 or 4K0, I'm sorry. Oh, and that's the overcome survivor. So yeah, Nia 100% has the deliverance, which means that they're chasing the deliverance survivor as their second survivor. That is the single worst. Oh. Yeah, survivors have literally played this perfectly. Yeah, I, I don't know what else they could have done up until this point. They, mm -hmm. from the get-go, stealthing out that corrupt was so smart. Offering up the Dwight, so smart. Dwight mm -hmm. running out of his mind, brilliant. Nia getting that rescue. I mean, everything has just been working so well. They broke the three gen, not once, but twice. Ooh, and that's a good prediction. Now our nurse is definitely in a bit of a, a struggle spot here. 
Oh, that was another good prediction read on the nurse. I think they might be finding the grip. We do see Unbreakable on Nia getting picked up. Claudette kind of disappearing. Oh, that was that was not the prediction they needed there. No, these survivors are playing so well. They are their chases are going incredibly well. The reads that they are doing. Oh, Ooh. and Nadu coming Nadu. in. Try, yeah. I was about to say, coming in to either hit tank or just distract. Oh, this is so tough. Yeah, they're doing a really good job. Nia gets reset. I imagine they're going to be resetting with Quada potentially. There's the tag on Hanadu. They need this hook ASAP. Oh, and they're the lucky break yeah. survivor. Oh, gosh. There's the vault. Do they get enough distance? No, it's not live. That's going to be a quick tag and down. And I imagine they'll leave this slug. Go look at their gens. Yeah, they're going to be doubling this one on the far side of Shaq. Now, you have to hope that Renato doesn't have the under Now they're going to be leaving preemptively. Yeah, I think that is the right call here. But that gen is... It is there. It needs to be breathed upon. Mm hmm But it looks like, yeah, Claudia taking pressure back here. That means that Nia's going to go for the rotation. So I think they have the chance... Again, unless Hanadu has the adrenaline, I think we're going to see Nia rock around to get the pickup on them. Yep, and there it is. That is exactly what has happened. Mm -hmm. And Nurse now you can go gonna... in and kick this gen, apply eruption, get your hook, and you're looking pretty. Yeah, Nurse has managed to bring this back pretty quickly and Leaving pretty handily. Slug. Yeah, I think they're doing that just to keep as much pressure on as they can, but they do get the reset on the Nadu. I, they do. I, I don't know about leaving that slug in that case. I think they, because they went and kicked that gen, they just gave too much time. That's fair. However, Nurse probably knows that there is no one unbreakable on Nia, which means that if they can get this down and get them slug, that means that they're, they will be in a much better position because they already have used their unbreakable. There's the overcome getting them a lot of distance. That means I'm not just going to have time to run back over, but that means the eruption is going to be uh, very handy here. As this down should, uh, yeah, there's the pickup on Claudette. Splink through, and there's the eruption. Man, this is a wild end game. This has been a game that feels so kind of quiet, mm -hmm. but the end is so, like, chaotic. <laughs> it really is. They get a reset. They haven't gotten, uh, worked on this gen, so it's still regressing. That means that the nurse cannot apply eruption to it just yet. So as we rotate to the edge of the map. Yeah, they do have to be careful here. If uh, Hanadu gets two tapped before Kaleta can rotate over. No, it's, I thought this was Hanadu. Yeah, if uh, Kaleta goes down and gets two tapped in Hanadu. Yeah, good job. For those of you who don't know, you can't blink through that wall. So that means that Kaleta can get back here, get to the corner of the map. Hanadu can be able to get over there and get, yeah, there's the pickup on Nia. I think you have time. Yeah, you should go for the hook here. Yeah, we're playing musical survivors at this point. <laughs> so mm -hmm. someone's got to do something. Yep, and that will be first hook on Claudette. Again, I think we might have gone six or five or six minutes without a hook or a gen popping. Yeah, this is this has turned out to be a very weird match. <laughs> yeah, very <laughs> grindy. Again, Nurse is slowly pulling it back after having a survivor out of the game, but it took... A while, and again, this gen out here is pumping. Question is, does yeah. the nurse spot where they went? She's definitely going to be taking a good look around here. Does not want to miss anybody. Nia has not been reset, which means she might have gone in for the unhook, and whoever was back here is long gone. Honestly, I checked that locker at this point. Yeah. I, I mean... Oh, oh, they actually find him. Dang. Really nice job by the nurse, not mm -hmm. giving up on that. And now, now we're playing ball. All survivors are injured. There's the reset, though, coming through. Survivors weren't jamming the gen. They are going to play this slow and methodical. I think, despite the fact the nurse is doing such a good job bringing it back, I think the gen split is so severe. I think the survivors can get the gens done. I think you're right. I don't know about getting outs at this point anymore, but I, I do think you're right. I think they do get these gens done. Ooh, there's Nia going to be taking some distance away from the... This is risky. You've already got one down. That means you're chasing also in the area that you need to get the pickup. So the rotation here is going to be awful. So unless they sent Claudette over to a different gen in the other side, I... 
Oh, but this Nia's done such a good job. My god, these survivors are running out of their minds. Like, really, truly, just doing so well, reading so well. Mm -hmm. There's the tag. Will they commit to the chase? It looks like they... I think they kind of have to at this point. That, but we haven't seen yeah. the pick of Hanaru. I think that Claudette's jamming the gin. I think you're right. Oh, and my word. Just absolutely juicing this nurse. Holy moly. Survivors have come to play. They feel vengeance in their heart. There's the down. Claudette, where are you? You were on the gen this whole time, so the fifth gen will finish. But like you said before, how do you get the survivors? Like, how do you rotate over to get the pickup? Like, Nurse can literally just sit here and scope it out. Isn't Nadu on the other side of the map? Yep. Both survivors are on opposite corners of the map. Yeah, look at this. Nurse is just waiting for a pixel to be out of place. They might even be waiting. Oh my goodness. If Claudette doesn't have an item, they could get crows waiting. The alternative is, is that technically if they have an item, it's not in the favor of the nurse because eventually she has to go and hook one of those survivors because you can't let them bleed out. Yeah, absolutely. You do not want to deny yourself those points. Mm -hmm. Nurse coming in here and looking around. There's the pickup on Nia though. Oh my gosh. I we can't actually she got that might rotation. Be out. Yeah, that's incredible is, rotation. This is so wild. And she makes it into the back. Is Hanadu over here? Or it or is Claudette taking attention away? I think that that's what's happening here. I think I think Claude is pulling focus and Nia is either on a gate or trying to get Nadu up. Yeah, there's the pick up on Hanadu. I was thinking you could also risk greeting. Uh, oh, that was a great oh. bait. You could risk greeting the exit gate here a little bit just for the, uh, just to let Renato bleed out because it's still lots of points denied to the killer. But I mean, this, this is a scenario where you're going to get so many points. Yeah, this is unreal. This is just, I feel like I should be taking notes on how these survivors are running this nurse because mm -hmm. I'm not, I am so bad at it. And I feel like they. this has just been a masterclass of juking and faking and, you know, losing line of sight and There's all the of these things. There's the coming in. And she short blinked it. Oh my gosh. No way. Oh, that is so brutal. <gasps> oh no. Yeah, no. I, I'm calling it early. I'm sorry. Valhalla is winning this set. All right, everyone. Welcome back to Champions of the Fog. We're loading in for trial number four. It is now Valhalla's turn to play the nurse. And after the survivor showcase that we just saw in trial number three, I can't imagine this nurse is coming in with the happiest smile. What? T, do you see this? Uh, I did not because I lost connection to your stream for a second. Please tell me what happened. <laughs> uh, it's not what happened. It's what I'm seeing. So... They did just cleanse Ruin, like, right off the bat, which is, you know, no big deal. The game just started. It, it happens sometimes. Survivors, looks like they are stealthy got corrupt mostly, just besides the fact they cleanse Ruin. Um, what is this corrupt? Corrupt is spicy. I'll give it that. Oh, oh. Did they just not see the survivor? <laughs> they didn't see the survivor walking over there. No. No. How could you not see the survivor? Bro, I saw a distinct Lara Croft over here, and I think the nurse might have blinked too late to it. So... Here, here, here's, here's the tea. This nurse brought no ed. Oh. Huh. T. Well. Guess what year this is not. <laughs> I don't know, Rue. Tell me what year is it not. It's not, it's not 2022. <laughs> yeah. Um... Uh surreal uh immediately chasing onto the obsession so survivors are aware of the dying light in play and are going to give the obsession up first live gonna get plenty of distance at the long wall and so the nurse for their credit has at least started chase early and getting a oh my goodness a beautiful blink and that's gonna be an early down yeah after what i can only describe as the public lashing of uh the last nurse, I this nurse is not gonna come to play. They, they're they're here to get serious and get it done. I would tend to agree, but with that said, 
getting attack onto another survivor they do get the hook immediately as they go for it but again this killer can just kind of hook everyone kind of willy-nilly and find oh getting stuck on the rock though and they're gonna be able to get some distance yeah this this nurse is playing so confidently they are i think this is gonna be potentially a lot a lot closer to what we are are usually exposed to in nurse gameplay I, I think I agree with that, too. Getting a hook on a fresh survivor. We do see Dwight running away. But again, okay, survivors are cranking gems. But again, like, oh! the killer only has to get a couple of hooks here to get a tie condition. Like, it's not, like, this hook right here will represent nine points, which is what the nurse previously had. So at this point, they've already collected enough points. If they get another fresh hook, it's just over. Yeah, this nurse can yeah. really chill. Really beautiful blinks by our nurse. Super good predictions. Just mm -hmm. absolutely on top of it. Immediately coming back to this hook here. Trying to get eyes on where these survivors went. Yeah, if they can get if they can get this Lara down again really quickly, they are gonna be survivors. I mean, even if you take into account the fact that the you know, by points they will win it, they mm -hmm. This is just going to put them in a terrible position. It really is. There's the deliverance coming in from Dwight, though, as expected. They find Ace getting a tag onto them. And again, this is another fresh survivor. Now, the one thing that is going well for the killer, even though they're not tunneling, they're getting Dying Light stacks. These gens are going to start going a lot slower. Third gen going down. But now, after Dwight got hooked, now Ace is going to get hooked. I think this just straight up wins the game for them already. I think you're right. I think points-wise, uh, they have already come away with the win. Mm-hmm. Uh, but still, it will be exciting to see how the rest of this match plays out because nurse gameplay is always such a treat to watch. Just the killer's ability to read where these survivors are going to be and make these super accurate predictions. Oh, man. Oh! Disgusting. Yeah, so that good. Was really, really well read by the killer. And that's going to be another hook coming in. Again, it's not on the obsession. So that's going to be a fourth stack of dying light in just a moment. On hook coming in on ace, but yeah at this point i think we can handily call it overcome uh I'm sorry not overcome what am i why, why do i think overcome oh it's because it's because the deliverance player runs overcome i if these teams could like not copy perk names i'd be very happy i'm kidding i love you overcome you're fine um <laughs> oh my goodness look at the precision of that blink what? jeez Ooh, just barely with that sprint burst getting out of dodge in the range of the nurse's blink yeah all right, I, I mean, this is, <laughs> this is, well, you know, to be fair, though, survivors have gotten four gens done, mm -hmm. and there are still four survivors in the game, so. True, that now is they're all injured, though. That is also more than we typically see. True. Usually, uh, again, by the time this ha this game came around, it was a, uh, it was a 3v1. Oh, Nia barely <sighs> dodging. Yeah, that was so close. Survivors are not going to give it away for free, though. They're not trying to make it super easy. Absolutely. But, yeah, now the killer can just come over here, camp it out. There's nobody. Everybody's injured, so nobody can come in here. There's no trade. There's no nothing. It's just lights out for our dear Dwight. Looks like they are going to be at a reset on Laura in the meantime, though. Yeah, do you think Do you think it would have been beneficial for them to stay on Jens instead of trying to do that rotation to get that uh, unhook? Uh... I think you have to try and not make it a 4v1 super early, but yeah, at this point, uh, probably. But it's, I mean, it's you, hard to say from that time. If you only have one gen left and you know you're not getting all four out, you might as well use that survivor's hook time to to further the objective, since they only had one gen left anyway. Yeah. Because it feels like this is has the potential to snowball a little bit here. And that is fair. They have the Delhi Survivor out of the game. There's no Unbreakable going to be coming in. And the Obsession's still alive, so gens are going to be a bit slower. At the very least, they did get a bit of a reset going, which, you know, helps, you know, further the cause at some point. I thought they were going to flick Blink there, but in the end, Neo you know, is just going to go to the corner. They do get the pickup on Ace, which means I think that... Oh, great, Dead Heart. Oh, really nice. And they're going to take it to the corner. I'm thinking that means that Lara was close by to get that pickup. It leaves Nia in the corner. This is not a three gen, though. So similar to what we had last game, there's nothing for the nurse to really defend. But it seems like they've got a... Again, that essentially the 
non Larzar as both Ace and Nia have 12% slower action speed. Yeah, that oh, dying like, Ace. Definitely coming into play, making up for that that ruin going out so early. Mm -hmm. Ace and going I'm really, to the corner over here as well. I'm really hoping we're going to get to see some of this Noah nurse, though. <laughs> That's what I'm waiting for. I need these survivors to pop that last gen. I think what it was is it was simply just like, I'm going to try and get some hooks where I can, and then I'm going to hook a survivor in the end game, and I'm just going to camp it out. And if they try to come in for the hook, surprise! Yeah, I think you're right on that. Yeah. It is just so strange to see that, though. That's <laughs> such an unusual choice, I would say, these days. I would agree. I think I think it was an insurance policy of like, as long as I get someone hooked in the end game, I'm happy. Because if they if they like, okay, if we you know we have to get this guy out of the game, they come in, <laughs> the fresh server gets clapped by Noah, and it's like, oh, yep, that is uh that is over. Servers have stealth out. They did reset. Ace is on second stage and slowly dying. A little bit of pressure on main building gen, but I'm leaning to 4k1 here yeah i think you're probably right on that Ooh, great read from the nurse and that will be lara coming in for the trade but i think no they're not even gonna bother going after ace they're like you know what sure laura you could have a second hook heading back over to this gen to check on things to make sure no one is getting up to too much mischief over here with these generators a little bit yeah, there's definitely a little bit of progress on that one, but I don't know. Unfortunately, that is the one closest to hook, which means it is going to be the one easiest for our killer to defend at this point. Lara did get unhooked here, presumably by the Nia. Yeah, it looks like they were checking. Uh, I don't think it was by Nia. I think it was by Ace. We see the gen in the corner that Nurse is checking out. It did have two and a half, maybe three pistons going. But Ace going to go down immediately after. I think they're just trying to keep them on this side of the map as much as possible. And this will be Deathhook for Ace, but I think Nia is actually going to be able to finish the gen now. Well, yeah, it looks like... That's, that's kind of dying light, though. Yeah, it looks like that is kind of what they were going for, was just trying to get this last gen done. Although, again, it is worth mentioning that at this point, the match has basically concluded. Valhalla has won. But, you know, survivors want to do their best and give the best showing they can. So, mm -hmm. which we always appreciate. Yep, still going for the best possible result. And we see that Jen still in a similar position as it was before. So survivors didn't quite work as much as I thought they would on it. And now Nurse can come over here, check it out, give it a gift, give it a little kick. And survivors could potentially still make it a 4K0, but it's looking more and more like 4K1. Yeah, I think the Dying Light stacks are just... Man, it's just tanking any repair progress they have. This is just... I, I don't know how they can get this last gen done. Absolutely. But... And, and even then, the tank and chase with the survivor, that is the obsession. So that the only one working is the non-obsession. Down goes Laura. And immediately going back to check the other gen. Yeah, they know somebody was down there previously. So... Mm -hmm. Only thing survivors can do at this point is go for the pickup or... Opt to try for the bleed out and get a hatch play. Um, or sit the gen, but I'll, I'll be honest. Uh, especially, I don't think there's a killer on this in this game that could not defend hatch slash exit gates on wreckers. The, the the map is so visible; you just jump on a hill most of the time. And again, it's it's a it's a relatively small map as far as the uh, distance from one end to the other. So. I don't actually. So here's the thing. My put move this way. I don't remember the last time I saw it come down to a hatch. The killer closes hatch, and a survivor gets out the exit gate. I don't remember the last yeah, time no. I saw it on this map. I I. Wait, were they on this one instead? No, or is that Laura just was from on this one? Yeah, Laro. Yeah, the repairs that Laro's doing. Yeah, Nia's hiding. It would seem. So what is your play here? If you're survivor, Rue, what are you? I mean, it, it feels fairly hopeless, but what would you be doing at this point? Um, you could try to get Lara to crawl all the way to the other end of the map. Have your Nia try and rotate around there slowly. You could, uh, it, again, oh, but Nia was found. 
the Nodders. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> the mutual understanding, like, yep, you found me. Whereas Waldo has come to a conclusion. You know, Ooh! the mutual. The mutual respect that these teams often have for each other, though, is so heartwarming to see. And it, it brings it back to, in a lot of ways, what I think Dead by Daylight is, which is a very silly little horror game, you know? Did you just call the ultimate, penultimate eSport, Dead by Daylight, a silly little game? I did. It should be a silly game. That's uh, Some of my favorite moments from Dead by Daylight are the ones where I get genuinely jump scared, or when silly little moments like that happen where you're just you you and the killer kind of look at each other and you're like well yeah this is i guess this is my life now you know it should be a fun game and i love seeing teams kind of have that like like, like i said mutual respect and just kind of camaraderie and that there are still moments where they can kind of make light and enjoy the game even in comp that is fair and with that nobody the, uh, at me i love this game is there adrenaline? No, there is not. And then we see that beautiful Noed coming on the screen. And I think it's just a matter of waiting for Laura to die. As again, Laura bleeding out here does not remove the, any points from the killer as they uh, only represent one stage of bleed out. So we're just going to kind of chill here for the next minute. I don't think the nurse is going to go look for this. Or maybe they will. Maybe they'll be like, you know what? Uh, maybe we can end this game a little bit sooner. I like to think that they're giving us a, a, a scenic tour of the map rather than looking for the survivor. They're just like, and here is my garbage pile, and here is my tree, and here is my stack of tires, not to be confused with my garbage pile. Here is another garbage pile, and here are all of my glorious rocks. I don't know why that monologue was so funny, but I'm actually chuckling over here. <laughs> uh, honestly, I respect the commitment to the bit, just like this uh, nurse uh, committed to the murdering of the survivors. As she should be. Indeed, and yeah, I think we're going to see a bleed out here. Even It's funny, at this point, you're just better off letting the survivor bleed out, because now, if you pick up the survivor, you have to take him to the hook, and then they have to go through the entire death animation and everything it's else. they are just better off bleeding thing. out. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and I think that's what we're about to see. All right, everyone, welcome back to Champions of the Fob. We're loading in for trial number five. It is going to be an Oni mirror with Valhalla cracking out the Oni first. We're going to the Father Campbell's Chapel and immediately finding a Survivor Fang oh. early tag. That might be the single worst start that you could have for a Survivor, getting found out within like 10 seconds. Yeah, that was absolutely brutal. That is not putting your team in a great position right off the bat because mm -hmm. those blood orbs are going to be flowing fast. Yep, they are. And even looking to uh, not... Oh, and the slow vault. Oh, oh what? Hello? <laughs> what just happened? What did I witness just now? This that is was... the classic case of M1s are just broken, and they have been for about three weeks now. So this is our, this is our lives as a killer main. If you wonder why we're so mad, this. But Killy does have an early couple hits. They have lots of blood orbs generating all this entire time. That's it. You can finish this chase... They're resetting. Oh, no, they found the reset. Oh, my God. No. Oh. Uh. 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 uh Cheryl? Um. Cheryl? Hello? You okay? What, what is this game? Fangman, what? you okay? What is happening here? What is the start to this game? What are we watching? I'm, I am so bewildered <laughs> right now. What is happening? I have no idea why is it like this here right now this is this is so stressful <laughs> like i i am i am i am so concerned for our survivors i immediate unhook oh my goodness i mean i i guess what else i don't know i uh oh this is such a bad this is I'm, you know, again, I'm just a lowly pubs player, but I have concerns watching this right now. I this feels have... a lot like one of my pub games. Yeah, this is kind of surreal. I don't think I've seen an Oni have this much starting pressure ever. Yeah. He's doing a pretty good job with this chase so far, but... <sighs> Still going down over the top, and I imagine the Oni will go for the pick here as uh, they got about half their power left. Yeah. And especially if this you, is a Scourge hook as well, like, dear goodness. You and I just sitting here with our mouths agape, like, 
Hello? Yeah, can we get a face cam on that? Just, you know, have the face cam pop in the middle of the screen, like, uh... Uh... <laughs> oh, and they find Cheryl in the back of the map working on a gen. And Wait, again, did... Was there a slug this whole time and I didn't realize? Yeah. Oh, the, the fang. The Wait. fang is still slugged. Wait, what? No. I... Did she what? go down from deep wound? Did she not mend? Are these Shut survivors giving up? up? Look, I have no idea what's going on. Okay, they got the unhook. I don't know what's going on here. I have no clue. This is maybe Loki some of the worst survivor gameplay I've ever seen in comp. And I, I mostly am just confused. Yeah. I'm like, is everyone having ping issues? Are we giving up? What is happening here? Yeah, if it's ping issues, we would have seen a reset by now. I'm not really sure. Maybe they... I, I'm really not sure if I'm being honest. This is uh, a bit out of the norm. Oh, they're using it's... power going back to the main building. They do see a survivor here. It looks like balanced landing coming in from Ace. Where do they run? Running back to where the, I say, the pallet is gone here. Tucking in, going to force the power to be out. But this kill is just getting a whole bunch of points back up. We're still at five gens. Yeah, they still haven't unhooked either. And that's a survivor. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I don't know no what idea. to say here, friends. This is kind of weird, unprecedented gameplay. I, I don't know. I'm just... I don't know. Yeah, I have no idea either. This is... Kind of surreal to watch. We see Blood Absorber here in the corner, about to get their power back. We see Cheryl running into the back of the map, trying to lead them away, but... But to what end at this point? I mean... Wait. What am I watching? Why is Alan here? Why is everyone here? I... That's a better question, yeah. Ow. That was a treat. Back around this side, I... not seeing a rotation for the unhook either. Okay, we do see someone kind of rotating in. Yeah. All right, first gen going down for the survivors, but Cheryl's death hook. Yeah, and Shoal is also about to be dead, so if they don't get that unhook quickly. Yep, there it comes. All right. I am just so concerned. I. Yeah, I'm thinking she might have been done. Uh, you're not supposed to disconnect, but uh, I think uh, I I think the survivors were done with this one. That's really disappointing. A little but bit. I, I because if nothing else, it's good practice and it's good to go against your competition and. But they had a great first set one. Like the set one they played was uh, yeah. phenomenal. You had I, a bad I, set I, two, but you don't just like throw your hands and give up. It feels a little bit like a temper tantrum from a child. And I don't, I personally, I hate seeing that in comp. It is, you come to comp with a certain level of gameplay and you're expected to adhere to like a certain level of respect for each other as teams. And this feels disrespectful to me. I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed by that. Just a bit. Yeah, no, I couldn't have said it better. I'm really not sure what this is. I don't, <laughs> but I say, I, the, the number of times I've seen this level of just, throw hands in the air not give up i've seen it like maybe three times um kind of disappointing but we'll see if they're able to finish any gens in the meantime as it is now a 2v1 alan still has not finished the uh gen over here maybe checking around shack see if there's any progress over here no progress whatsoever at shack uh not sure what the survivors are doing really yeah i do also want to say that while i am disappointed a team is made up of individuals and it may not have been everyone feeling that way. Yeah. And sometimes you have to work with what you're given. So I don't know. Yeah. Alan's definitely still trying. So yeah. Yeah. Really good looping coming in at the main building. And with the last of their power, they're going to break the main building door and go and check on some generators. No progress that I'm seeing just yet. Yeah, this no, is and looking I, like 4K4. Yeah, I think so. I, I think the fact that they got the one gen done is 
remarkable given whatever this match has been. But um, that gen actually has some pretty good progress as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been doing a good job keeping it going, but haven't seen anything from Fang Min, which I'm curious what she's been working on this whole time. They do get power That's back in again. Both these throws are injured, so they're just dropping blood orbs everywhere. Yeah, and there's no way to get a reset in at this point. I mean, this game is, for all intents and purposes, this game is done. Uh, it's yeah. just going to be a matter of, you know, cleaning up. And we do find the Fang here over by Shaq. Oh, Fang is actually, yeah, working on the main Shaq, uh, Shaq gen, gen, yeah. yeah. Sounds like they did have some progress. Indeed, no bounce landing, though. So they do get to this pallet. Oh, my goodness, what a flick. Really nicely done. Yep, and that will be second up coming in for Fang Min. Eruption on Alan's generator. And the Oni can just walk back to Shaq and power right back up. Yep. This might even be a scourge for Fang. I don't know. Yeah, I understand the frustration of... I mean, that immediate... That first hit was one of the worst starts we've ever seen to an Oni match. Mm -hmm. um, and so there's probably... There was probably a lot of frustration about that, but God, Dead, if Dead by Daylight isn't just one of those games where you can turn it around so quickly, you know, I, I'm bummed. I, I'm bummed. Yeah, I agree. And it looks like Oni will be able to close hatch here, popping their power preemptively so that they can get back across the map and prevent any a kind of exit gate play. The exit gates. Yeah, they are both on the opposite side of the map, so they only definitely has to get over there ASAP. But given they have the Akito's crutch for a little bit extra speed, they should be able to make it there in plenty of time. And I will say they can't see the orbs during this period of time from the uh, survivor. But once the power is over, yeah, you could you can you can pretty easily uh, see both these exit gates from one location. So. You'll see the orbs at one point. You'll be able to intervene, so this will be definitely a 4K4. I feel like we should be listening to that song, you know, wonder if you know how they live in Tokyo. <laughs> Just drifting around the map. Are you trying to get us DMCA struck? Oh, come on. <laughs> oh. Watching Oni drift around the map is, is so silly. Oh, that's he's fun just for a, sure. He's just a silly guy running around with a big baseball bat. Indeed, and looks like they do end up finding Alan after all, so that is going to be all there is for this game. Again, Alan has done a really good job with these loops. Did that smash it? That? I think it was. Spicy. They got a lot of distance with that. Yeah, Alan yeah, has... Like, yeah, oh, won they won a 1v1! Yeah. Let's go! Oh, immediately you popping know. power for the OV? Okay, okay. I see you. Let's go. Honestly, oh my word, that flick! Oh, unreal! The Omega flick! My goodness! Oh my goodness. gosh! Wild! That was incredible. Tru truly the best thing we could have hoped for at the end of this very strange match was a quick little 1v1 at Shaq. Yup. Well, well done, Oni, and uh, well done to the survivors who opted to continue playing this match despite it being a tough start. Indeed, and that will be 4K for, for Valhalla's Oni, which effectively means that Loyalty can't feasibly win this. 